Do you ever tell yourself new year, new me, thinking that your life will just change in a span of a second or a day or a week or a month and realize that it doesn't work like that and then get sad and redecorate your notion? At least your notion's cute! Hello, hello! It is Alexandra, aka your Notion Queen, self-proclaimed, but still valid. And I'm here with a brand new Notion tour and how I use Notion in 2022. Thank you so much to Notion for sponsoring this video. If you don't already know, Notion is an all-in-one note-taking tool that really does more than just take notes. Like it's very customizable, really, really helps me get my work done and organizes my life for real and also is a great organizer for teams. I've been using Notion for about a year and a half and I'm obsessed. It is the one reason why I'm able to actually turn in assignments in time and actually get things done. But without further ado, let's go on with the tour. So this is what my Notion looks like in 2022. I've decided to create a new page for every single year that I'm using Notion because I like to redo everything, but also copy some of the pages that I've really liked. So this is kind of like my intro template or it's just positive. Um, the sizes of some of these pictures are not super even, but to me that's okay. So up top I have quote that I feel like I want to embody for the rest of my year. And um, some cute positive photos and my main pages, namely my homepage, Dream Life, Columbia, Twirling Pages, and Index. These two are actually linked to other pages. So if I click on Index, actually Index is part of Life in General, which is a Moomin themed page that also serves as a similar purpose. I believe this is a quote from Moomin. So I, I really love Moomin. These are all pages that I think I can use every single year, regardless of the yearly differences. And so this doesn't change based on the year and that's why it's here. Anyway, let's go back to 2022. So 2022, let's go to the home page, which is the first page. Up top, my header is the 2022 mood board that I made. And I wanted to keep my Notion for this year really tiger themed. The setup is pretty similar to my old Notion. And honestly, if you want a more comprehensive Notion tour, I would recommend using that one. But this is how I use it now. And I feel like this is how I realistically use it. While my other Notion tour was more... Um, intense. <laughs> I got a couple questions last time about where I get these icons and these stickers, but basically I go to jiffy.com, search for tiger, go to stickers, um, and then I pick a sticker. This is similar to the one that I got. Copy, go to notion, and then you paste the link and then you submit it, but I'm not gonna submit it because I still prefer the sticker that I have. And that's how you get these stickers. But basically you can use any GIF, but I prefer Jiffy's stickers because it's a transparent background. It looks really cute. <sighs> okay, moving on to the first section that I have. I just like to have like these photos. Most of the photos that I'm using come from Pinterest, so they're not my own photos. However, this is my own photo. Um, this is also my Spotify playlist that I just listen to on the daily. So first over here, we have routines and reminders. So I have my 2022 goals, morning and night routines, expenses. This links to the meal planner that I have and this links to my 2020 dream life. So in this bucket over here, I wanted to create pages that I would be able to refer back to on the daily. So I have my 2022 goals, which I split up into physical, personal, mental and creative self. My manifest manifestations as well as my fears so i was listening to a podcast recently and i realized that it would be really helpful for people to like think about your fears and then kind of like go feel the fear and do it anyway and that helps you grow so that's what i'm trying to do i'm not doing a great job on these goals but this is a good reminder and then my morning routine i should probably edit it but let's let's go through like I didn't change the cover and I didn't really do much like this icon. So let me give you a first hand of how I edit. Like this Animal Crossing themed. 
I'll make my morning and night routine Animal Crossing themed. Okay, let's do these bells because you gotta wake up and get them bells. Submit. Animal Crossing GIFs. Very, very cute. Let's have Isabel because she tells you good morning. Oh, this is my morning routine page. Okay, this actually links to a Google spreadsheet of all of my expenses. I felt like that was easier for me and the spreadsheet is one that my friend made. I don't take credit for it. This links to a meal planner. I actually have not used it in 2020 yet, but very comprehensive. This links to the meals, which are the recipes down here. So for example, if I wanted to eat avocado toast, I'd add an avocado toast and then it would tell me information and if I looked down at recipes, it would tell me I had avocado toast on Wednesday. So it's like very helpful. However, I haven't been as consistent with using this because I would eat out and I haven't found my groove on like cooking for myself and you know, living alone yet. So I haven't done that. And also this is a pretty complex series of tables. I feel like sometimes some of the tables that I made in my past Notion video, it's very helpful. However, in the long run, I realized that it's not always the most sustainable option because I would get a little bit intimidated by the tables that I made. Anyway, self-explanatory and then I'll go over the 2020 dream life later. Go over index later. Media consumed. These are all the books and movies that I've watched in 2020. I actually need to add another book, Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. Creates and then I like to change the color to like gray. So, oh wait, I guess Okay, so they're all neutral and matching and I finished it today. I read it in audiobook as well as in hardcover. And then, oh, multi-select so I can choose both audiobook and hardcover. And then later I will link the cover. Then there's also the library, which normally it would show all the books that I read, but I just need to add the cover for Jade Legacy and then we are good. Okay. Moving on, another affirmation that I want to have my year. Then this is a big change from my past setup. Over here I have an audio track. Oh yeah, this is a piano or lo-fi version of a 17 song. So how do you add audio tracks? It's a file. So if it's like this, this is an audio file, an mp3 file that you embed. This is a link to Spotify. I got a lot of questions about the audio file. I have the downloaded file of the song and then you just add it. Through here, um, what would you do? You would embed, you would upload a file and then you would upload the song and then it would look like that. So that's how you do that. Then moving on, our next section, we have my weekly so instead of having like every single day has a different list of to-dos i think it's easier for me to have these categories and have a big weekly to-do list so this is my weekly to-do list toggle and then you can open it and then i have all my academics twirling pages subtle asian book club and life and other so if i wanted it to be cleaner it could look like this or if i wanted to open everything or if i want to just focus on one thing i can open and close it like this this is actually one of their newer things which is a toggle header so i think this is a toggle heading one i can't remember um and um, yeah i feel like this is a lot easier i also had some questions earlier on like oh how do you save your tasks like you create a new thing like a page every single week literally i just delete it and then i make a new to do which is the easiest thing for me so that's what i will do to the left is this also a new notion feature so from last time this is a table i think it's called a simple table and then i split it out from time from 7 a.m to 9 p.m i stop from 
six, seven, eight, which I know are just only two more rows, but usually by that time I don't have many plans and so I just put it all in one thing. As opposed to editing this table every single week, this is more of as a reference table for what I generally would do on the daily. So for example, I aim to do my morning routine at 7 a.m. and then I have class and then I have class until 10 and then I have another discussion and then I have lunch, study, Korean, etc. on a Monday. But this is just like my general schedule. I don't add in if I'm going to eat with someone or if I have dinner with someone. I don't really edit that on my Notion. I just add it onto my calendar, which I use a different app. But this is a nice reference to kind of like remind yourself of a routine. Since I'm slowly getting into what I consider my routine, this is really helpful because I want something that is more consistent, more concrete. And these are all things that I aim to have consistent in so for example today is Saturday and I didn't go to yoga today yeah I like I keep my weekends open because my weeks pretty filled this is really customizable I really like it and would recommend weekly reminder which I tried to live by okay moving down we have a new bucket university I added some of these like fun things so it feels like it has a border some people asked how to create multiple columns it's very simple you just go here you drag it to the side and lo and behold you have a new column that's how you do it and then you can also adjust the columns nice okay so this is just a university and then it links to columbia which has most of like my university stuff and then underneath are immediate things that i would like to have on my homepage. and this is a linked database to my assignments so if i click here then i have my assignments so these are all my assignments i try to update it every week or every month I know, at least for most of my classes, all the professors give me a syllabus of all the readings we have to do for the whole semester and when we have to read it by. Um, and so I filled in all that information for February and some of March. There are also filters, so whenever I complete an assignment, it automatically disappears. I have tags, whether it's a reading or an exam. I sort it based on the due date. Then down here we have what I call my playground, which is twirling pages and my creative content. And this links to a database of all of the future videos that I hope to make. For the most part, censored, but for example, I have this Notion video. This is very, very similar to how I structured my content in the past Notion video. For the most part, it didn't change. However, I'm really considering changing this so it doesn't have um, a table because it's really not necessary. And also this, really this whole thing is not necessary except potentially the script. But I know if I just have the script, then it's kind of boring so i don't i don't know what to do and on honesty after like actually using it it's nice but i don't use it enough which is why i kind of want to get rid of it so i'm getting rid of it yeah i don't even use this description because i just i just edit directly on youtube so this is what it would look like realistically like those are my main pages, but let's go back to 2022 and let's look at the 2022 dream life. This I think is very similar to my main dream life that I had in the past. Same song, same gifs and icons and same photos for the most part. Um, small adjustments. Big things that I changed that I want to focus on specifically this year is that I changed this photo so it talks about your intrinsic self-worth and I want to focus more on intrinsic self-worth and self-love and like what that really means for me as well as the dimensions of self-care. I included in my dream life in the past, I am confident, balanced, am truly happy and then things that make me happy and even more things that I like extras etc i added this which are weekly tasks that spark joy and so these are things that i hope to do every single week so i can find my weekly ritualistic balance of things that will bring me self-care aka buying flowers for myself watching things on my projector 
reading, watching cinema, consuming in general, taking film photos, calling my friends, and enjoying the city. For the most part, I haven't been doing as many of these things that I want to, but it's all work in progress. So first we have body, which we have, I feel like this is pretty similar to what it was before, but I wanted to include 2022 goals specifically. So I split it up into three categories of body, so sleep, diet, and fitness or moving my body. Yeah, and then I created bullet points of manifestations as well as like kind of like why I wanted to have those goals. So I have a clearer intention. Then mind is a little bit different, but for the most part, very similar. Language is also similar. I am no longer studying French. I'm taking Korean. Originally I said low priority and high priority, but this was before I started taking Korean. And back when I thought I was taking Chinese. So those are my language goals. I had a database where I would journal daily in Notion. In my past video, don't use it as much. So then I have purpose. This is pretty similar. I changed this. And I think that's it. Everything else is the same. And manifestation is really just a list of things that manifest. And I don't really feel comfortable sharing. We're working on it. Next, we have Colombia. Master list of all things Colombia. On the side are all links that link to like the Colombia website. But also I created some pages like clubs I want to join or study abroad program. And like information about those programs. And those are both like databases. So pretty similar to what we've been seeing before. This is a photo that I took on my film camera of the Library of Columbia. My studying Pomodoro playlist, which is my preferred playlist nowadays for studying, as well as my courses that I'm currently taking and my assignments. This for the most part looks very similar to how my school pages were structured. We saw assignments earlier, um, but I also linked to all of the lecture notes, which is very helpful. So we have my lecture notes for the classes where I take lecture notes on Notion. Some of my classes, I don't take my lecture notes on Notion, namely like Korean, because it's easier to write. And plus I have to do a lot of handwriting in Korean. So these are the classes that I actually take lecture notes. The rest of them, not so much. Then we have twirling pages. Honestly, pretty similar to what it was before. I can't remember what my last Notion video included, but um, we have the directory on the side as well. This links directly to content. The content's right here, but I thought it'd be nice. And then this is like a series that I wanted to have on my channel, which is like how I build my dream life and then a bunch of like video ideas and how it would like integrate. And then this is also like a series that I wanted to include. So those are both like brainstorming pages and it just felt fitting to put it there. In the middle, I have my identity. I think this is honestly very helpful for me, mostly because it can be pretty confusing sometimes for me to understand like why I create the things that I do and like go back to my root self, which is very important for me. So then we have the guide, which is for concrete things. So for example, I split it up into YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and my blog, which I haven't really blogged in a really long time, but I'm really bringing it back. And then actually I could include my podcast, but I feel like that's a different thing. So when I have a couple different platforms, like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, blog, I am not sure how the best way to share things are. So for example, I'm like, oh, if I want to do a vlog. Would it be best for me to do a mini vlog on Instagram slash TikTok? Or would it be best for me to do a long form vlog on YouTube? And then it's kind of hard for me to distinguish and really differentiate what I should do. But having these categories is a little bit easier for me to like brainstorm future stuff. And then this is my ideal posting schedule. It doesn't actually happen like this at all, but um, you know what? It's okay, we're working on it. Very similar to my past notion because I haven't changed some of the things that I find that are very functional for me and just perfect for me. But I still wanted to share like an updated notion tour of like 
how I use Notion, even though it's been a couple of years. Last but not least, we have Index, which is the same as what it was before. This is still like a Studio Ghibli track, still a Studio Ghibli quote, still all Studio Ghibli themed. Deleted some of the pages, so like for example, I had a tarot database, which is not my personal Notion, but someone else made it, and I got rid of it because I just I don't use it, I don't refer to it, and, and in all honestly, I don't really use many of the things in the index except for like mail, which include like all of my friends addresses or like people that I'm consistently pen palling and their addresses so whenever I need to send them a package or a letter or something, it's here. Yeah, I don't really use like the recipes or the meal planner as much. When I do need to refer to something, then I will keep it here but clearly I don't really use it as much. Things to make my notion cute. This is from a long time ago. What are these? Interesting. Ooh. How do you use it? Oh, okay. I think people would use this as an icon. Notion fi. Mm, yeah, there are a lot of like Notion resources such as this one. Personally, my biggest advice is to watch videos and support me. <laughs> kidding but also not really and just to play around with it but of course you can use things as like a reference maybe i'll include a weather thing because now weather actually changes i did have a weather and a clock in my notion but honestly i feel like it doesn't doesn't match that well so all my pages for my notion that is my notion tour if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you don't use Notion yet, reminder, you can sign up using the link in the description. Would highly recommend it. You can also duplicate this template, customize it as much as you want. If you want one that is more intense, you can use my old Notion video, my old Notion, or something that is a little bit more practical for me is this one. For the most part, I use Notion weekly or for like work purposes and now I'll have like my small daily to-do tasks in my Hobonichi, mostly because I prefer to have other things in different parts and so Notion is very helpful for keeping my life in order and Hobonichi is very helpful for keeping me grounded and keeping me where I need to go. So for the most part, I still organize my life with Notion, but I also organize using my Hobonichi and my Google Calendar, as well as some other resources. I think for the most part, it's those three things of like Google Calendar or actually I use this app called Fantastical. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Reminder to sign up from Notion for the link in my description and I'll see you next time. Reminder, take care of yourself and stay organized. Bye!